What is up guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to play Kiana. Kiana is an assassin that has been performing pretty well uh, throughout the season, so she's always a good pick um, if you are looking for an assassin. And I'll also be showing multiple games, and I'll also be showing those games even if I end up losing, because the main point is to show you guys how to play the champ. So on this champ, your W ability, um, you have three different elements that you can choose from. Currently I have the river element. And you pick it up by hovering the cursor over the corresponding element type and then pressing W. She's going to dash as well and then pick up the element. And for now, it's just going to enhance our basic stats. And you can start using the elements once you have um, your Q up, which you usually take at level 2. Sometimes you can also take at level 1. And every single time you pick up an element with your W, um, your Q is going to reset. Alright, so apparently our Draven um, has been running it down every second game, you know, when he dies, so... Good thing he got the first plot. Alright, so now we got the Q. So with the river element, if you hit with the Q, it's going to root the target. So this is very good for the initial engage. Um, so when you're ganking, or when you're setting up your combos, you want to use this at the start. And then you have, for example, the um, Earth Element, which is this one right here. Uh, this deals increased damage to low HP targets. Great for wave clearing when the minions are low HP, and also great for bursting down the target at the end of your combos. So this is something that you want to use at the end. And then we have the grass element. Um, that one makes you invisible. It's great for kiting. For example, if you're playing in a matchup where you can trade evenly or maybe the opponent can win the trade, then you can use that grass element to your advantage because it makes you invisible and thus really hard to trade back against. And your E is a point and click dash, which makes you dash in a fixed distance, similar to how Yasuo's E works. And probably the most important thing here is that if you use your E and your Q at the same time, or basically you dash and then use your Q, then Kiana will automatically aim the Q, right? So you don't have to aim it with your cursor. That is really important to know. Uh, because that just makes everything a lot easier. And you don't have to aim the Q uh, yourself, because normally it is a skill shot. But if you use it this way, it is not a skill shot. Kiana will just aim it. I demand to be seen. So the combo is going to be EQ, then you pick up a new element, your W, like this. Why to get out? About to get ganked. I had a feeling he was going to flash me, so that's fine. Trading flash for flash. That's basically what the combo um going to look like. So you have the element ready to go. To ping his uh, flash. And then you have to wait for your abilities to be ready as well. Some are just I think we can bait him in. Okay, it's alright. So if I was getting really low HP guys, then I could use the element I have right now, the grass element, uh, because it's going to make me invisible like this for a short amount of time. And another thing that's really important here is that if you're going for the uh, DPS, you know, max amount of damage on this champion, make sure that you're using two different elements, because if you use the same ones twice, then this passive is not going to refresh. It's going to refresh when you're using new elements. So don't use two earth elements for example, because they'll be pretty troll. So on Kiana, I actually like to get the tear. You do not have to get it, um, you can actually skip it if you want to. If you're buying the tear, it's going to make your early game a little bit weaker. But your mid game and late game will be way stronger. So you have to decide what's worth it. And another thing here, so if you have the corresponding element type and you're walking close to the terrain, then you get some bonus wounds piece, so that's why I'm hogging the walls here when I'm running back to the base because I have the earth element. 
And even if this game ends up snowballing insanely hard, don't worry guys, because I'll be showing, you know, one or two more games every single time. Because sometimes you might get a very snowbally game or you might get a very easy matchup. So this way I can show you more matchups and more team compositions. So if you want to take out a shield, you can also dash through the minions guys. So for example, if I pick up the Railman, you can dash through these and then gap close and then poke with the Qs. Like this. We had the shield up, which we had to take out first, but this is a good way of poking the opponent if they are playing, you know, pretty safe. And the ultimate is that insane AoE damaging ability that's going to form around the terrain. So if you cast people into the terrain, I got, I could use the combo a bit faster. But you can see, if you knock people into terrain, it's going to stun them and then it's going to form the explosion around it. So it can end up being a massive AoE damaging ability, which is something that makes Kiana pretty good in teamfights as well. Which assassins are normally uh, not very good at. So just walk close to these structures here, since you have the earth element. You can see you get that bonus wound speed when you walk close to it, and if I walk away, it's going to get lower so just walk close to the terrain allows you to get back to lane faster and if you're going to gank pick up the river element because first of all it's best for ganking and you also get bonus wound speed when walking through the river and the wake class not the best but double Qs will take out the backline minions but it's a jam where you want to be roaming a lot We can look at the map. Oh no, it's not looking very good for the kill. But she should be fine. Nice, okay. You can also jump all the walls like this. Let's see if we can make something happen here. I don't know what he has up. I think I saw him use the uh, ghost. I used his Q. Alright. See, just wants to be roaming a lot on this jam. Uh, that is why she really shines, you know, similar to other assassins. If you cannot pick up kills in the lane, for example, you are in a bad matchup like the Malsaha right here. Since he's so great at countering you. Then you can just roam. So it's not a jam where you are expecting to get high CS. Um, that usually does not happen on assassins. You're just looking to get kills, either in the lane or through roaming. Always take out the Wildlings and Malzahar um, as fast as possible, because it's going to mess up his way clear. So it's pretty risky to like E forward, then he can ult me and then if I get ganged I pretty much die. Just want to be poking a bit and remember to use new elements since the passive is going to refresh. If we had Ignite we could take him out right now. Right, should we cover? Looks like they're fine. So if you're in the river, for example, you don't need to knock people into the walls. Um, it's still going to CC them. Oh, the shield just came out. That's a bit unlucky. Otherwise, they would have dealt a lot more damage. But it's a basic pool combo. might queue this one. Oh wow, he actually ulted. That's a good thing, even though I'm low HP. I'm gonna pick this one up in case um, Viego comes. But now he does not have the ult for uh, ganking me. So we'll just back off here. His ultimate is down, that's pretty huge. And we can get the dust plate. That's like a core component on Kiana. Especially that untargetable part. Like it was a lot more fun to use when it made you invisible, but this is also pretty good. 
happens you can go all in take somebody out and then the rest cannot target you for a while so that could potentially give you enough time to like pick up a grass element and then go invisible that way Right, let's pick up the real one. Looks like they're getting ganked bot side. I'm gonna put some wards down um, over here since we saw the Vego, so I'm gonna focus on pushing this out. The TP also came out from the Melsahar, or the deck fighting. They're winning this, are they not? Yeah. That's pretty easy for them. He has this mythic item. But is he going to recall or will he go for the jungle camp so we can go and check? Yeah, he went for the jungle camp, so we'll pick that one up. Thank you very much. And you can also jump our wall so here from here, for example. Let's see if I can do it without trolling. Like this. Good way, you know, to get around the map a bit faster and also to maybe um, chase people or to escape from them. Oh, that's a nice hook. Right, Dina is doing um, Herald, so I should probably move topside. Let's see if we can help the kill. I had the drill element giving me bonus wound speed to get over there faster. Just has to go in now. Okay, the ghost is popped. And you see, I'll ulted him into the wall. So I used the river element first to root him and then I ult it. So we basically CC him twice. And then back to lane. So that's pretty much what you keep doing um, at all times during the laning phase. I'll just let Raven have this and then I'll go bot side. We don't want him to rage quit. Diamond Pearl's Claw. Cross those heavy damaging items. And since we had the tier 2 boots. And you also have this Relentless on top, so your out of combat movement speed is going to be really good, allowing you to roam around a lot faster. 433 with the passive uh, prompt. But also, even though you can't expect to have high CS on Assassin, still try to farm up, you know, you don't want to fall behind XP wise. Uh, because the main mistake I see, especially in lower elos, is the fact that people can get kills, but somehow they fall behind XP, and that's because they forget to see, um, see us. Oh, no way, bro. I thought it was going to be enough, so that's why I used the... Uh, Double uh, root, but I trolled. So that's my bet. Oh no, he died. Shut down. Can we catch him here? Right, electrocute coming in clutch. So this is why it's good if you know how to like dash over walls with your W. Even though it's pretty short range, still really good to know, because it will allow you to get to other parts of the map. A bit faster. He's not going to chase, so that's fine. So I'll just back off and then I'll go both sides. But maybe Diana can defend. Or maybe it's not needed. Let's get the components. I'm gonna pick up the Earth Element once again so I can get back to lane faster. And remember, as long as you make sure that you engage with the River Element first, then the combo is super easy to execute. I could take uh, the blue, but I'll probably lose a lot for it.
And it's not like we need the blue when we have the uh, tear. So we're fine. We're around here, so that's why I'm just gonna check with the um, Reaper, just in case. And he's around here, the Diego. Oh, he's going mid, okay. Okay, some damage coming in. Got all set. Any defend? Yeah, we. I should probably take the tower. That's my bad. That's fine. I think he's a bit too tanky, man. The armor boots. Oh, that did not hit. What? Okay, there we go. I should be able to take him. Nice. That was a bit out of range um, since it did not knock them uh, to the side. So that's something you can keep in mind. Let's see with the AoE stuff. You can do so much in team fights, which most other assassins cannot. And we also have the insane late game with the kill, so we are good to go. Alright, let's get back. He's taking the red buff, I assume. Okay, I'll just back off and we can get this. And then next item is going to be the mana immune. Because um, most of the time you don't have enough stacks on this. To be getting it super early on. And this way you also don't lose too much damage um, in the mid game, early to mid game. By avoiding getting the mana immune until you have your T2 boots, you have your mythic item and then you have the prolos. And after the mana immune you can go for armor pen, which is usually the item that you'll be getting. Because at that point if they have a normal comp, they'll be having some armor. Right. Let's roam around. Right. And that's how easy it is once you're fed, guys. Like, she just one shots everything on the map. It's even more fun is that she's so great at kiting people because um, lobby cooldown is so low that she can keep picking up new elements. And you can also pick up elements, for example, while you are invisible. So for example, if you use this right now, you can pick up elements and still remain invisible. Also something that's pretty good to know. I'm gonna go bot here so I can pick up the wave. Once again, it's so I do not fall behind. I think I saw the Swain around here. Oh no. An enemy has been slain. I think... No, they might. Does he have a C up? He does not, right? My ultimate just came up. Okay, that was troll. I had a huge bounty, but... I want to yule it. It's fine, we have the kill pushing. They're gonna get the drake, but that probably means that kill will die. I think they're all going for... Uh... Wait, he should be contesting, no? Oh, did they panic and reset? That's fine, it's like half HP. They got some damage on that one and almost have the mana immune. You know, I could have played the previous fight way better. If I, for example, hit all of them with the ult, then I could take somebody out, then I go on targetable, and then I can jump over the wall to escape. So like, this champ has a lot of mechanics. And it's only something that you can truly master if you play her a lot. Yeah, he started being toxic, so probably will not take much to make him rage quit at this point. So 
Darius and Brutus, that's something you can't really match. Because of course you are insanely fat or something. You see, they, they can just run you down. Like you don't, you can't do much about it, but we got the ghost out. Because if they get too tanky and you can't burst them down in one combo, um, it's just a good luck move. Will that hit? Alright, nice. Enemy killing spree? What is going on? I really don't want to get to the point where I have to buy... ...yourselves. And we can get the mana immune and it's going to be fully transformed once we are getting it. I'm just gonna protect this tower because um, there's a gold bounty on it. Right, I think I'll back off right now. So they only have armor boots. He has armor. But still it's great to get the armor pen, guys. Because they'll be pretty tanky at this point. And not only that, you also get that slow, which can also be pretty beneficial. When it comes to cutting people and also making sure they cannot escape. Even though you're not using the uh, river element. I think I'm gonna pull the Draven around. Yeah, I had a feeling they're going to do this. Oh wow. Okay. That's a ward here too. Oh man, I just need to hit one. It actually deals a lot of damage. Let's watch out for the Masaha. So I'm gonna pick up the uh, green one. But you can go way more ham. This champ because of the dust plate, which makes you untargetable, right? So you can get a kill on one person and then you can use that attackable mechanic to keep going. Oh, no way, bro. No way. Got the reset. Unfortunate. Doesn't matter. We have a left 16 kill. It should be done. Almost a 10 CS per minute kill, just free farming around the map. You know, at this point, you have more damage, more than enough damage, so you can just work as utility for your team. Hitting people with the ultimate, making them CC it, and then also using the river element to root them and such. There's something you can do when you have more than enough damage, because you have three other carries on your team. And in other games, you might still have to be the main uh, player carrying um, your teammates. Bro, you already have your items. What? I need 16. If he was about to get level 16, I would just let him the wave, but he already has his stuff. I need to go both side now for the... For the Drake. Gonna pick up this one. We're just gonna try to knock people um, into the terrain and stun them with the ults. So for example, if all of them were coming this way, I would probably flash over the wall and then ult all of them. Just have to be careful I don't get ulted. Um, champions like Masa are really good at shutting down. Um, Kiana. 
He can ult me, so I don't want to go in. Yeah, I just die if I get ulted. Alrighty. Is that GG's? We don't have enough minions, though. Alright, I'm just gonna stay back here. Um, Millie Champ and Squishy. So, can't really tank much on this champ. So, we're just going in when we're sure we can get a reset on the uh, dust plate. Oh, he's chasing. I have the old up now. No, mate. I trolled. I trolled big time. And now we're getting the ammo pin. I actually thought I already had the uh, Cerulea Squirt, so I was like wondering why my stuff didn't was slow. But everything is down. So we just need that last push. They're probably going to push without us. I can imagine. Alright, minions. Gapping the enemy minions. I would just have to go as a team. Is he waiting uh, to upgrade this item? Oh no? Let's see. What is he waiting for? I am not sure. But we, if we push at the same time as the super minions, then this should still be fine. Even though Draven is not here, because we have the kill. Okay, Draven is here. He did not upgrade his item. Meaning he did not have enough gold. So the issue here is that if you're pushed too far up, you're not able to pick up the uh, river element. Unless there's like a... Um, sometimes there's like water around here. Where you can pick it up, but otherwise... It's pretty doomed. Yeah, I have to uh, get a wall. Oh no, mate. Well. Oh. oh, he wants to ult me. That's why the um, green one is so good. But GG's for the first game. Alright, welcome back to the second game. Now we are playing against Echo. Um, so I like to consider this as a skill matchup, but he's definitely going to be a problem later on. Um, so you know, if you're looking to get kills and such, you have to do that early on, because after he gets a couple items, and especially with his ultimate, he is going to be very, very hard to take down. So yeah, there's that. And what else do we have? We have Heimer Dinger topside. I don't know why he locked in Darius into the Heimer. Uh, I guess he's a one trick. Bot lane, like this is a really easy lane to gank. Um, top might be a bit difficult with the turrets. But he does not have barrier. So we could even make room top happen because they have immobile bot and immobile top lane. So we have two lanes that we can gank. But definitely way better to gank our bot because we have Vagar with the cage and we also have Pike. The CC and uh, mobility. Wait, why is this thing? Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, they just keep chasing. We'll see if he wants to do this. I don't think though because he's low HP. Wait, he recalled? Looks like a uh, Grace Recalled. We lost the Flash bot side from the uh, Vagar, but nothing happened, so that's good. I want to start auto attacking the minions a little bit here, so I get level 2. Uh, not too late. I actually want to get level 2 first, but without 
showing in um, the lane. Okay, that's a good one. I'll take this one. It has TP though. Alright. Remember to always um, switch between the elements because if I use the two uh, same elements twice right here, I will probably have lost the fight. And if not lose it, then. Die. Um, so I'm getting out here. The wave is in a terrible spot, which kind of blows. But we got the kill, and that's what matters. Ooh, okay. That's the heal coming out. So I like to get uh, Tia on the Kiana, but it is Serena Dirk first, um, since it gives you a lot of damage and it makes it so you don't lose out on too much damage early on uh, that you otherwise do if you decided to get the Tia early on. Man, that blows. Like, it's a very terrible way to uh, recall on, but if I stayed it would be even worse since I could not farm. Unlucky. So we don't have flash up. I was actually hoping to get him without using the flash, but yeah, it is what it is. Since I can get ganked pretty easy now, so I think I'll just stay back and then use the Qs to farm with for now. Yeah, the feeling has getting ganked. Okay, that's a what here. So this wave is going to push towards me so I can just stay back. I was just pamping because they most definitely did not see that one. So are you guys blind? I really hope you guys can win this. I actually don't know what that um, new champ does because I have not been playing. But they're winning. Or maybe not. Okay, yeah, that was our top. So the wave is a bit too big right now, so we don't want to fight. Because even though he's low on mana, having that big of a wave guaranteed that we will get destroyed. So I think I'll go ahead and reset here as well. And now we can get the tier. I like having Tyr, um, because as I said in the first match, it makes you scale way better. And also, you don't have the mana issues that you normally would have if you play her without mana immune. Bro, I don't know why this guy, like, he had... They blind big Heimerdinger and he just locked in Darius. Like, he cannot lane that matchup. Just gonna give me a free electrocute proc. Now he got his level 6. Looks like he's not going to skill it yet, um, which a lot of Echo players don't, since they can use it to bait like once. But he got level 6 before us because I lost that big wave. Um, so yeah. I had to base on that awful massive wave. Didn't really have a choice though. And that's like the thing with um, not having TP. And I had to play careful here because I could get ganked at any time. the ultimate came out. 
That's actually fine. Okay, he's dead. Bro, what happened? What? I thought the Grace would die to my ult, but he like survived, no? Like, no HP. I was getting a bit confused. That's a little bit awkward with a wave clear as well. Rip the cannon. And it's a massive wave once again, so we actually want to like... Uh, push it out if we can. I'm gonna greet a bit. And once again, I have no clue what our champion does, so... Yeah. We'll see what we can uh, make happen. So bot lane is doing pretty well. We have the scaling advantage with the Vagar, but... They also have Senna and the Jin. Yeah, I want, I want boots. I'm just gonna um, stick with the components. Are they gonna get dove? I think I have to head straight bot side because of the echo. Wait, what was that? Was that old? What? Is this ARAM, bro? I guess our champ is dying. Yeah. Our champ is uh, gone. And no fruits, unfortunately. He's gonna TP back, right? I want to push. And you can use the double Qs to uh, wait clear. Nice, got a shot down, okay. I don't think he's gonna try to freeze it. I'm gonna use this chance to reset. No CP on the Echo, but he has that way clear, so that blows a lot, actually. Since he will now be getting a plate. This is why this matchup starts becoming really annoying. When he has that ult, uh, what can you do? So Graves is missing. Actually when you want to like trade into the Echo, a good chance to do so is when he used his Q. But even better if he used his W. I just have to pick. Oh my god. Was he sir? I had to ult him away. He's been having a lot of help from. Uh... Oh my god. That blows. Is that a ult? Oh wow. Okay, I don't know what that is, but man, that's a long range ult, what? It just blows I'm losing a lot because of the uh, Grace constantly sitting, uh... Nice, okay, now I'm happy. Is there pre-mates? Probably. Right. I'm not able to get any plates whatsoever, because like the base timers are pretty awful for me. And I'm just gonna not buy anything uh, and then just reset later when I have enough for the uh, dust plate. Or close to the terrain here, he can maybe get one more plate. I actually don't know if this champion is like scaling or not.
The ultimate is up soon. And once again, I don't have my flash up, so I have to stay back. Um, because he probably, like, uh, for Graves, I'm pretty easy lane to gank. Like, really easy. And if he starts walking up, it probably means that uh, Graves is here. Ooh, is he winning? Okay, he got the passive proc. But yeah, even though you're winning lane and such, sometimes you just have to play safe. Ooh, that hit. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, is it going to reset or something? I assume not, right? Okay, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Just gonna let our jungle take it. Oh man, he's going to lose so much. I assume Graves is gonna be mid right and defend? Yeah, of course he is. Oh my god, that's so annoying, bro. That is so sad. Bad ults. That blows, but yeah, it's pretty limited what you can do if the enemy jungler is just allowed to sit your lane. Oh man, that gem is so fast, what? Why did he, um... Uh... Okay, nice. I don't know why he wasted time trying to, uh... But I also trolled. I thought maybe I could like get one for one or something. But that was a pretty int from my side. But oh man, I lost the entire tower. Just from the Graves gangs alone. Jungle pressure is uh, pretty disgusting. Not gonna lie. Oh, that's a kill for... Yeah, for the Heimer. Unfortunate, my bro. Oh no, I could use that kill. But I can. Why spike there? Why is the Pygaroni star? His ultimate is down. We can go for this guy. Guys, come. Finally, bro. Where's your help now? Okay. Getting the Ekoronis. Right, we got something, but I, pro I can probably imagine Graves is gonna be uh, mid soon. I would not be surprised. Well, there he is. Okay, got the Drake. First Drake of the game. I'll just back off here. Eku's gonna show this out probably. Bro, you can't be there. My man, you cannot be there, bro. Man, he's gapping our jungle like pretty hard. Just the uh, pressure he's applying, like he does not have as much kill. Um, Presence, but if you look at what Graves has done through around the map, he's actually doing way better.
Especially like the pressure he has been applying uh, for mid lane. But man, that ultimate range is, uh, seems to be uh, pretty nuts on that champ. I really hope it outscales because I'm not sure how the scaling works. Bro. Bro, why are you farming? Just gonna ignore everything? Alright, let's go up the tower and see what we can do. Okay, good. Good thing. We got two flashes out. Maybe some more flashes, I don't know. I think both of them flashed my ults. But this is gonna give me uh, a little bit of time to farm, hopefully. I had to take this out, but Graves... Okay, he's bot now. Echo's gonna TP, no? Maybe by some luck I can actually get to show this out. Right, that's good. Now I need to get out of here. Man, he's having a hard time topside. But it's just expected down with the matchup, so it's not like the Darius is bad, it's more like the matchup is unplayable. But he's having a lot of MR, which is great against Deku and the Heimer, but what about the rest? Dude, get shredded to pieces, bro. I guess they're taking that one. And ping. I've been spam ping too much. Assaults. I guess it's gonna jump over, no? I did nothing, I failed the jump and I yanked the kill. Served. Can we go on uh, Legion? They don't have flash up. I guess we're not. Okay, wow. No flashes on either. Bro, what? Man, that gem uh, looks to... I guess it has some insane scaling or what? Holding Heimer? Bro, that range. They have exhaust the thing, that's why I'm not going in. Otherwise I could probably um, take out the Jin in one combo. Does not have flash up. See, it was pretty easy taking him out when the Senna is not ready for it. But if she was, I would have lost that fight for sure. And they probably had an exhaust as well. I'm gonna move towards the Drake. I will assist. And our Vagar is getting pretty strong uh, with the stacks. Also with the uh, Rod of Ages. So he'll be pretty tanky and all he has to do is just provide a good cage in fights. We get a good cage and we're good to go. Right, what does Echo have? Still does not have any armor, which is good for me. 
not coming this way. So you know, in cases where they can trade even or even better than you, the grass element does so much. Like it does so much for you. Still not walking up. I do not lack empathy. Other people just need to be better. He's not walking up. I guess he's waiting for the graves. Graves is missing from the map. Oh, he's dead. Okay. This place will be a lot Still missing. You could burst him down pretty fast, but problem is that if he gets to ult, he's just gonna heal all of, all of it back. Okay, insult. That's good, that's good. It does have a low cooldown though, so pretty difficult to track. Oh my god, man. That was so bad of me. Wow, that jam looks insane, bro. I guess it's a scaling jam. Yeah, for the echo. I guess it's a scaler. Oh wow, that cannon. The last auto attack. Nice. Nice, nice. Now our jungle is starting to gap him, finally. So I think I'll just go top. Come on, he's, he, he might rage quit, so I'll just go bot. So I just had to farm for a bit, since we can't do much anyways. You know, push out the waves and then you look for rooms. So you can try to hover your teammates. Okay. Also, um, maybe we should check this now, since all of them are missing. Okay, never mind. B damage. You see Grave, so fine on that part. Out the vision. Shut down. Oh wow. That hit. That actually hit. Oh my god, who's coming? Oh my god, man, that's Senna ult? Really, bro? Oh, look who's here. Yeah, I think I was dead. I think I was dead no matter what. Ooh la la, that is some uh, movement speed and damage. All in one, and now we're gonna have the mana immune. That's fine, no need to chase. Like, we have Heimerdinger scaling up. I'm doing lots of unnecessary fighting. But, um. We are getting the objective so far. Now we have three drakes. 
Looking pretty good, and we have the big spike with the mirror mana. You know, normally Echoes um, get Sika Samgard into this matchup and the Sonyas, and when that happens, you can't do anything. But he doesn't have it, so that's why we're able to fight him still pretty easily. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, OP jungler. He's just gonna stay back and queue it, right? Why oh, I'm so dead, bro. I'm so dead. No mind. Surviving. Some fruits. Oh, he's staying. He might cam in the bush. Just have to make sure he's not doing that, otherwise we're gonna die. Man, it's so fun to use the uh, grass element. For kiting and such. Nice. Ooh, that is some speed. Your team has destroyed a turret. Some people are just born better. Where did he go? He escaped. We'll just stay bot since uh, my teammates are doing pretty well for themselves, so I guess we don't have to move yet. And Echo is mid, so I can try to push this out. Finally. I don't think I've been able to hit a single tower this entire game. Because every time I tried to push, then Graves was there. What my jungler is carrying now. Okay, I had to ult here so I could um, hopefully save. Our bot Vega. Man, that champ is doing stuff. I think I'm getting out since he has the ultimate proc. Okay, wow. Wow. Legendary. From getting gap to uh, 1v9ing. Nice. They don't have um, armor this game. So we could go for something um, heavy uh, damage wise, uh, damage items. Do they have shields? Yeah, they have the echo shield. They have the center shield. You know what, we'll just try this um, just for the echo. What the fun. Usually this is only something I like to buy when they have a lot of shields, uh, for example they have a Lulu, a Janna and such, then I almost always buy it. It's like the game is over anyways. We could go for the soul.
Maybe we'll just wait here for somebody to pop in. We are getting the soul finally. M tech. Right, let's go on a hunt. Like he win this, right? Yeah. Got this. I could call for him. Is that something that resets? It looks like it is. But I am not too sure. I actually didn't have to mo do much this game in the mid to late game. It's just early on, um, making sure not to die to the uh, graves besides that time where I ran it down. But later on, the pressure. No. Okay, I survived. Nice. I'm out. GG's. And that was the second game of how to play Kiana. Really hope this video was helpful guys. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.